Hey everyone, in this video I will be explaining that how to fix the server stumbled error 0x8131500 on your windows store. So whenever you open your windows store, you get this message popping up and you're not able to access any kind of application or game through the Microsoft store. I'm sharing few best possible solution that you need to apply one by one. The first thing that you have to do is you need to run the windows store troubleshooter so both on windows 10 or 11 come to the search box and type trouble and from the suggestion choose troubleshoot settings now here you will get additional troubleshooter click on it and now look for windows store apps at the bottom you will find it just click once and then choose run the troubleshooter so this will start detecting the problem and it will let you know like right now it says user account control has been turned off so probably you get the same message or maybe something different so you need to follow the instructions so it says to turn on so i will click on enable user account control and again it will detect the problem and let us know that what exactly the problem is and it will help us to fix it all right it says reset and apps okay so it says you can reset app that aren't working right now from apps and feature so right now it's instructing me that whichever apps i'm having the trouble i need to reset it so that's what i will be doing i will close it close everything now you have to press the windows and letter r key to bring up the run box at the left hand corner here you have to type ws reset dot exe then click ok and this will reset the store so just wait until it's been completed and now it will automatically bring up and let's see whether it fixed the problem or not it seems to be working and the problem has been fixed but in your case if you still have the error just close it and in the next step you need to restart the windows service so for that on the search box type services from the suggestion choose services now the services box will be coming up here you have to look for windows update so keep scrolling down until you find windows update here it is now just make a double click on it make sure the startup type has been set to automatic if it's been set to manual you have to go with automatic not with automatic delayed start only with automatic now stop the service then start again once done click apply and then on ok now simply close the box and now you also need to change the DNS server settings for that press windows key and letter r key again to bring up the run box at the left hand corner type here ncpa.cpl then click on ok now you will be getting all kind of network connections now you have to choose the one through which you are connected right now i'm connected with ethernet so i will go with ethernet but in case if you are connected with wi-fi then you have to follow the same steps for your wi-fi connection so make a right click on the connection whichever you are using then choose properties here you will get internet protocol version 4 just double click on it and now in your case it should be set to obtain dns server address automatically so what you have to do you need to check the below option of use the following dns server address and in the preferred dns you have to use the google dns server address that is 8888 and in the alternate 884 four and four then click ok ok again now close it now you don't have to check your store you have to perform all the solution and after that you have to make a restart and then check whether the problem is fixed or not now in the next setting you also need to reset the language settings again on the search box type language and choose language settings now here you have to make sure that your time zone and your language preferred language everything has been set uh, to your local location if you are in united states go with united states if you are in uk then choose the other option then come to date and time and make sure that if you are using set time automatically it's fine but in case if it's off then you have to go with set time automatically again come to region uh, choose the right location choose the right format choose the right country again in the language you have to do the same so make sure this all settings are correct and according to your local location once done just close it 
and now finally we have to make some sfc scan and dism scan that will also fix many other problem so on the search box type cmd and choose run as administrators once you come here you have to type a command that is sfc space or slash scan now hit enter now it will take some time to complete the verification so you have to wait until it's been done and there are a few other commands that you also need to run that i will leave in the description it's right here so you have to copy the first one here okay let me show you if i bring another box of command prompt so here you have to run the first command simply copy it from the description come here paste it hit enter then copy the another one paste here once it's been completed you have to paste another one then you need to run the third one okay so now once all these command have been completed close the box close everything and then finally you have to check back make a restart and hopefully your problem will be fixed but still if you have the problem i want that you should go here with a solution then you need to reinstall your microsoft store how you have to do on your windows 10 or 11 make a right click on the windows icon choose windows powershell admin this blue box will be coming up again you will be getting a command in the description so first you have to copy this command this will be for to uninstall it paste it and hit enter wait until it's been completed go back to description and copy the another command come to the windows terminal and paste again and hit enter now once it's been done simply make a restart again and your windows store will be fixed i'm very positive very sure that you will be going here with the solution and if this fixed your problem make sure you hit the like subscribe to the channel i see you in the next video Bye bye